guys and welcome. So glad that you stopped by. Today I'm sharing with you some more fall decorating. I am starting my upstairs now and I will be working on my front foyer as well as my powder room. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, my name is Sonia and on this channel you will find tons of decorating ideas and motivation as well as cleaning and organizing so if this is something that interests you please press that subscribe button it would mean the world to me if you became part of my youtube family so first thing that i am doing is just giving this room a good wipe down as you can see i have not one of these giant dogs but there is one more so i have two two total and they like to rub up against the walls against the doors and leave um, dirty prints everywhere and hair everywhere so i just wanted to give it a wipe down i did clean this room a couple days before gave it a good deep clean but now i just uh, wanted to have a, a fresh clean slate before I add any of my new fall decor. I, this time I'm also removing some of my summer decor and putting it away as well. Some pieces I will be keeping like uh, uh, some containers and sticks and things like that and even some pillow gets left behind but most of it I like I starting my fall decor away. early so that way I can give you tons of decorating ideas. As you can see, I almost lost my other dog. They're very young. The black and white one is only 9 months. Well, 10 months. Almost 10 months. And um, the other guy is uh, 19 months. So yeah, like I said, I would like giving you guys tons of ideas. Now, I had moved the shelf and swept underneath it, but my camera did not pick that up. So I have just swapped up some pillows, and now I'm going to swap up this sign that says Home Sweet Home, and I'm going to add a more appropriate sign for fall. I have actually DIY'd this sign over on my DIY channel if you want to um check it out and all the other fall diys that i'm creating make sure you head on over there it is linked in the description box i love the way this sign looks and i think i was quite pleased that it actually fit onto this wall i was a little bit concerned when i was uh, choosing choosing it for this wall that it was going to be too big but it fits perfectly now I typically keep this crate here for all the season and uh, seasons and I just uh, change out what I put in here. Now I have to be very careful what I place in this crate because Frank who is the black and white dog he likes to chew on things when we're not home and he's not in the crate because I've never had a problem with him of having accidents but last few times when we have left um, he has snuck into the basement and chewed up some of my crafts craft supplies as well as um, my uh, hammer the mallet hammer and um, some other things so I have to be careful what I put in here so I don't want to place pumpkins that are very expensive so I am choosing ones that I have a DIY to place in here I really love the end look of this crate. I think it's very rustic, touch of farmhouse, um, and I think it's going to tie in really well with the rest of my home decor.
Now it's time to move on to my Bombay chest. Um, in this chest I keep all of our gloves and um, hats, mitts and some sporting gloves and uh, cleats and things like that. Um, so this gets used quite a bit and uh, it's also sometimes a dumping zone so I like don't want to put too many things on here. Last year I had a glass vase which looked really good but this year I had picked this um, stainless steel um, well aluminum or galvanized is the, the, the word uh, lantern uh, for my summer decor. But I kind of find that it looks a little bit like a pumpkin. So instead of placing um, a candle inside of it, I have decided to add some greenery, some fall greenery. I had picked these uh, uh, branches up in um, a Dollarama last year and I absolutely love them. I am going for as always um, traditional colors more so but I will be you will see if you watch uh, the rest of my decorating videos that I do like to mix in some of the new new colors for fall that everyone's sharing DIY this basket as well and it hangs on my mudroom door in the hallway so I wanted to um, add some color to this uh, space as well. I have uh, recent uh, in previous years hung a wreath but I have been absolutely loving with the way the basket looks here. I have used it for the summer so I, then I proceeded to use it now as well for the fall. And all my greenery had come either from Dollarama or Dollar Tree and I'm just trying to combine all the different colors that are going to be throughout my house in here a little bit. I think this basket just brings up cheerfulness into this space a little bit. I don't do too much in the powder room for the seasons. It's mostly just the soap swapping and the little plug-in. But I decided to add a little bit of a fall foliage into this vase that I have sitting on top of the toilet that I also store. Uh, stinky spray as well as some toilet paper. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? I think this color looks really good up against the dark wall. I think it just makes it pop. And then over on my sink, I am adding a plug-in, and I still have the pumpkin um, apple scent in there from last year so I'm just gonna plug it in and see what happens and then I'm also using this harvest soap from Bath and Body Works actually my daughter ended up picking up all the soaps this year for fall for me so um, I had no control over the scents but I trust her taste and she did pretty good and then I'm just adding these little pumpkins just to cover up the little um, bowl that I put to elevate the candle 
holders so because they were the same size and I wanted one to be a little bit taller and then I'm just adding a towel not a specific towel I just I should get a, some hand towels that are maybe a little bit more fall but I typically have this towel or white towels here most of the time maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Well, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, clean and decorate with me for fall. I am loving everything that um, I will be using to decorate my home this year and I can't wait, wait to share it all and I'm sure I'm gonna I'll make a few changes as I go so make sure you stay tuned for my home tour as well because then you can see any updates that I do so if you're not subscribed you might want to press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future fall decorate with me or any other videos that I will be sharing and I want to thank every and each one of you for stopping by and watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. <music>